Babe, I got you something. Automatic water dispenser? Yeah, now you don't have to go all the way downstairs for water. This thing's high tech. So this tube goes on here. Now all we need is an ice machine and we can have a little G Fuel making station up here. Babe, what are you doing? Something. You got a G Fuel package. Ooh. Can you hold this? No. Let's go, baby. I got myself a tub of Dancing Dragon. It's Dragon Fruit Mango. And my review is already up because I got an early sample. And oh yeah, baby. We finally got our hands on the Hack and Slash G Fuel tub. It's Citrus Fruit Punch. Don't forget to use G Fuel code Danny D, baby. Really? Babe! Babe! What's taking so long? I'm pregnant! Oh, yeah. What do you want? Taco Bell just added six new items to their cravings menu. So? So I haven't had Taco Bell in like three weeks. That's not new. What? These aren't new. These four things? Enhance. <laughs> they got a new double stacked taco? This quesadilla stacker thing? A chicken flatbread melt? A chicken enchilada burrito? A cheesy double beef burrito? And loaded beef nachos, baby. Yeah! You can't eat all that. You're on a diet. I'll do half tonight and then half on Sunday. I can't eat any tomorrow because I'm going to Texas Roadhouse with the boys. What? Fine, but you better bring me some rolls tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. Ha ha. I'm Woo! leaving. We're going to the movies to see ISS. Concept looks cool. It better not be BS. This morning while Theo was at school, my wife and I went to Cinemark to see ISS. January is notorious for not having the greatest movie releases, but I feel like every January there is at least one film that's solid. And this year, I think that's ISS. It had some fun thrills and some interesting writing choices. What'd you think, babe? I liked it. I think they could have used the concept better, but it was slightly above average. I liked it more than Night Swim. Follow me on Letterboxd if you want to see a more detailed review. Babe, Nori wants you to make spicy demonated Bahama Mama. Come on, little man. Let's go. Ah! Another one. It's spicy. Chili orange. I can't really taste the lemonade though. Seven out of ten. Will Pollo Loco have a sequel? The short answer is no. There are no plans to make a short film called Pollo Loco 2. However, I do have a script titled something else that starts with the events of Pollo Loco as the intro to the feature film. The rest of the film would introduce the rest of the world, more characters, and would basically show you another hour and 20 minutes of what happens because of the events in Pollo Loco. But it would not be called Pollo Loco. I think that was a very fitting title for a short film, but seeing as people can't spell it or get it confused with a fast food restaurant, I have another title in mind. We need at least a million dollars to make that film, so I wouldn't expect it anytime soon. But there is the long-winded answer to your question. Go leave Pollo Loco a rating so we can make that film. Babe, they want you to try the hack and slash G Fuel flavor. I'm trying to play Call of Duty! Too bad! Look, they got eight drinks! Hack and slash G Fuel, baby! It's supposed to taste like citrus fruit punch. Oh. Hey, I do it! <laughs> Yeah, baby, shake it. I thought it was gonna be red. That tastes like blue haterade. I don't like fruit punch, so I'm happy to say it's more citrus forward, but I would call it a blue fruit punch. That's damn good. 8.7 out of 10. Don't forget to use G Fuel code Danny D, baby. Ah! Ah, here we go, baby. I just finished streaming, and now we finna try this new Taco Bell cravings menu. 
You already know I got that Baja Blast Zero Sugar, baby. Mm. Here is the loaded beef nachos. Oh, they're loaded. Damn, mm. mm. that's good! <laughs> Here is the stacker. Basically a mini quesadilla. Damn, that's good! And now we got the enchilada burrito, baby. Look at that. Three times in one video? I don't know. Damn, that's good. <laughs> All this for 10 bucks, baby. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go watch another episode of Ted the TV Show. <laughs> Oh yeah, baby. My wife is gonna cross stitch while I watch episode two of Ted the TV series. And I agree, she is a major buzzkill. No! Episode one was better, but the dog story? What the hell was that? And I caught her chuckling a couple times. She did. We're gonna try the new raspberry iced tea G feel flavor. That brings back memories. When I worked at the movies in high school, my parents would always come to my register, and my dad would always get the raspberry iced tea. 95 out of 100. No! I have not been to film school. Part of the reason why I joined the military in the first place was because I couldn't pay for film school. But after being on a few sets, I found that most people whether they had gone to film school or not, agreed that you don't have to go to film school. I was told you can learn everything you need to know just by making films. So that's how I've gained all of my filmmaking knowledge, and I've used the internet to fill in the blanks. Don't misinterpret me though. I by no means consider myself an expert filmmaker. That would make me an expert in being delusional. I am very much still a beginner, but I would consider myself a very ambitious one. I make it a daily goal to try and learn something new about filmmaking, and and that is gonna be my goal for the rest of my life. But if you're somebody who's thinking about going to film school but you can't afford it, do not let that stop you from pursuing your dream of being a filmmaker. In fact, I would say don't let that discourage you from being anything, unless it's like a doctor or a lawyer. Hey, back it! What the hell, man? Just open it! You made me open the Microsoft store! So? Let's go, baby! We got the new Honey Lemon G Field flavor! It's only available in the TikTok shop! Let's go try it! No, I gotta go somewhere! Oh, come on, dude! This is how cold it is in Canada. Okay, let's go. It's Saturday night. You know what that means? It's for the boys. Last night, I went to Cinemark with Giancarlo and Jorge to see the beekeeper. We all knew this was gonna be your typical Jason Statham action movie. I was honestly surprised with how over the top it was, but it was entertaining. What'd you guys think of the beekeeper? We gotta protect the hive. I don't like these, bro. <laughs> it was so ridiculous, <laughs> but so ridiculous it was good. <laughs> and then we headed over to Texas Roadhouse for some late night grub. Damn, that was good! <laughs> Yeehaw, brother. Hey, your turn to spin the wheel two times. Not a wheel. <laughs> Thank you. Put the ice first. What's wrong with you? <gasps> Please don't hurt me. I just want to get some water. <laughs> That's good. Lava fruit with some pineapple. Nine out of 10. Hey guys, no goofy music or shouting for this one. My wife is pregnant, we're on week 29, and we recently found out that she has a high fluid level. I'm talking about the fluid that the baby floats in. And so the doctor said that increases the chances of the baby coming too early. Once we get to week 37, we're kind of in the window where it's okay. I gotta start picking up more of the slack around the house, taking Theo to school, picking him up, doing the laundry, the dishes, all that stuff more by myself. And so that means it's gonna be a little harder for me to find time to film my content. And so that means that my family 
is going to be in the content a lot less than you guys are used to. Probably until my wife's recovered from giving birth. So all I ask is that you guys still support the content by watching it. This whole thing is really stressful and scary for us. But like I've always said, I'm here to entertain you. And sometimes I feel like I got to just be open and honest. That's what's going on. And I just want to say thank you. For Babe, they want you to try the honey lemon G Fuel flavor. Let's go, baby. Okay. Honey lemon G feel. It's supposed to taste like honey lemon. Let's go. Theo's at school. Way better than I expected. The lemon is kinda like a lemonade, but that honey taste is impressive. It literally tastes like I took a spoonful of honey. Nice and sweet, but mellow. 6.6 out of 10. I've had some people asking to see the nutrition facts. But look at that design, baby. Woo! This flavor is only in the TikTok shop, baby. You can't use code Danny D, but I do still get a commission. So get you some! Oh, don't you worry, baby. Taco Bell just revamped their cravings menu. Last time I got the loaded beef nachos, the chicken enchilada burrito, and the stacker. Tonight I'm getting the double stacked taco, the three cheese chicken flatbread melt, and the cheesy double beef burrito, baby! <laughs> You already know I got the Baja Blast, baby. Damn, that's good! Ha ha! We got the double stacked taco. Damn, that's good! Ha ha! Next, we got the chicken flatbread. This is a little sad looking. Ooh, I like that sauce. Damn, that's good! Ha ha! The cheesy double beef burrito. I got all of this for $5.54, baby. Thanks, Taco Bell. It's Sunday night, baby. I know it's probably not Sunday when you're watching this, but I recorded it on Sunday. I got myself some Taco Bell. And we're going to watch episode two of True Detective Night Country, which most of y'all are probably sleeping on. Ganey, have you seen Five Nights at Freddy's? Yes! But have you seen True Detective? Probably not. If they're children... Do not watch True Detective. That is not for you. This is definitely a big boy show. Or big girl. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to exclude you. I love you. Mother of my child. Hit play! Hit play! Holy shit! That was even better than the first episode. I hope there's at least one person out there who sees this and gives it a shot. Babe, Steven says that according to science, we can only see 60 hertz. That's not true. I'm pretty sure I've looked that up before and they said you can see up to a thousand frames per second. Not that you can detect it consistently, but I mean, I saw Shroud do a test and he could tell the difference between 240 and 144. Don't you worry, babies. I'm gonna let her take you away. I'm saving you for last, but you're first. Babe, what are you doing? Nothing. Are you talking to somebody? I was memorizing lines for a script. Okay. Go away. All right, fine. Part two of my Blu-ray collection? You got a deal, Del Crew. So I already showed you guys the top shelf. Now let's go through the middle shelf.
These next ones are special because they're signed by Kevin Smith. Like, comment, and share, and use G Field code Danny D. Hey! Oh, sorry. Hey! You're gonna break my monitor, man! I'm sorry! You put a death in the box! Just open it! It's wrapped! <gasps> No, you have to wait. Oh, uh, yeah, it's Friday night, baby. I got my Taco Bell, and we're watching episode three of Ted the TV Show. We jerk at dawn. Babe! <laughs> Babe, sad vibe says let little man drive your car. Dude, that sounds like a great idea. I should get Little Man my keys, we should hop in my car and drive to the East Coast to get some red licorice G Fuel. Hey Little Man! You wanna go for a joyride? I wanted to ask you, what is the story of making Pollo Loco? Well, first of all, I wanna say thank you for watching it twice. So happy to see that it has rewatchability. A lot of people have been telling me they've seen it two, three, four times now, which to me great. is like the ultimate goal of you know, making a film is making something that people want to watch more than once. The story is I was taking acting classes and one of the classmates that I met that, that really stood out to me is, you know, just a super passionate guy who just loved being an actor, Giancarlo Beltran. He, he came to me and said, hey, there's this idea that I've been wanting to turn into a short film. This character, Pollo Loco, this drug dealer who is still kind of like new to the crime game, had just found out that his girlfriend had cheated on him. The character was religious and his grandma had chickens. I basically took those little things and brainstormed about him this outline and he loved it. Give me like another two or three weeks and I'll, I'll write a script. It turned into a 17-page script, and now it's a 26-minute short film. That's, awesome. that's pretty much the gist of how that came to be. We're gonna try the new Naruto Sage Mode Gene Fuel Hydration! Yeah, baby! My shaker! <laughs> it's supposed to taste like grapefruit white peach! And it's caffeine-free! Yeah, fill it up, buddy! flavor 9.9 .9 out of 10 don't forget to use Jeep field code danny d baby why not a 10 i don't know hey! Mom! We got some Rudy's barbecue, and we are finally gonna watch The Boys in the Boat, because it just went up for rental. That might be my favorite George Clooney directed film. Maybe. I do really like The Ides of March, but what'd you think of The Boys in the Boat? It was really good. Very uplifting and inspiring. I recommend checking it out if you haven't. We still need to watch Poor Things and American Fiction, and then I will give you my top 10 of 2023. <laughs> I'm working on it, okay? Now let's go watch an episode of Ted. <laughs> Babe, they said we should get Little Man a little car. Like one of those battery powered ones? Yeah. Look, we can get him a tank. Yeah, now we're talking a Mustang, baby. Look, a Camaro. $430. Would you look at that? Overpriced trash. Do I ever eat anything healthy? Of course I do. In fact, I'm gonna eat these bare baked crunchy apple chips. Mmm. Just because I eat junk food in my videos doesn't mean I don't ever eat anything healthy. Look at that. Looks delicious. 
I guess that's it for the video. <laughs> It is 8.50 p.m. on a Friday night. Did you just check to see what time it was? And I'm gonna watch episode four of Ted the TV series. And so far, this show is awesome! Hey, stop yelling. That was my favorite episode of Ted so far. I even caught my wife laughing a couple times. <laughs>